Dr. Jansen, and today I'm in a sporting goods store, and I've been asked so many times, what is the difference between running shoes and walking shoes? So one thing is there are thousands of running shoes. So if you look around, here they're selling thousands of shoes, and uh, almost all of them are considered running shoes. Uh, another difference is that in running shoes, you're going to have a thick lug on the shoe. So let me show you what that means. So if you look here at this shoe, this is the lug. And it's sort of this irregular, like, toothy pattern on the bottom here. And the purpose of this is to grip the road. So there's leaves and, and the, the road is wet. And, or you might be running on a trail, you know, on dirt. So this helps you grip the road. So the difference between a running shoe and a walking shoe is a running shoe would have um, a lot of lug, they call this. You know, like this. So these are running shoes. This way you can see it really clearly. This is the lug. On a walking shoe, it would be smooth. I'm wearing a walking shoe right now, so you see my shoe, the bottom of my shoe is pretty pretty smooth, actually. So a walking shoe is pretty smooth on the bottom. Uh, another, another difference between walking shoes and running shoes is that um, running shoes are usually very colorful, and walking shoes are usually black or gray, or some kind of very um, conservative color. So, uh, if you look at these, they have some really crazy colors here. Here, look at this one. So, and just just it being very colorful uh, makes you realize that it's probably a probably a running shoe. Um, another characteristic of a running shoe is that it's usually stiffer than a walking shoe. So, a walking shoe is very flexible. So, let me show you that. Okay, now this is uh, considered a running shoe. Let's get this thing out of here. And this is this is very stiff. I'm, I'm putting all my weight on this, and I can just bend it a little bit. So it's an extremely stiff shoe. So you definitely wouldn't want to walk in this shoe. It's way too stiff. It makes walking really tiresome after about an hour. Okay, and then. Let me show you a shoe that is. So here's a shoe. This is New Balance. I would consider this a walking shoe. It's gray. It's a conservative color. Um, it's flexible. You see, and it doesn't have a big lug. It's pretty smooth on the bottom. Smooth bottom. Another characteristic of a running shoe versus a walking shoe is a running shoe usually has a high, much higher heel, and then it bevels down into a smaller or thinner sole around the forefoot. And the reason for that is because when you're running and the faster you go, the more you're going to land on the middle of your foot or on the ball of your foot, which is different from walking because when you're walking, you're going to land on your heel and roll. So the reason why the running shoe is high in the back, it's going to encourage your foot to get up on the ball of your foot and uh, the idea is to get you to run faster. So, going back to this shoe, you see that the, the front and the back are pretty much, you know, not, not too different in height. It's a little bit different. It's pretty, pretty level. Now let's look at a run. Okay, here's an example of a shoe that, you know, it's much higher here, and then here it's really uh, shallow. So the idea here is that you land and you're going to be tipping forward quickly to increase your speed. And a lot of running shoes, they also have this design now, because when your heel lands, it's it's really meant to rock you forward as quickly as possible. So this is Nike. Nike started this, started doing this about 10 years ago with the rocker heel. So this is a running shoe. shoe. Now you don't want to be rocking forward you know, on a walking shoe that's, very, that's actually unstable. Now running is unstable. You're, falling forward quickly, but you don't want that with walking. So to conclude, uh, a running shoe is going to be high in the back with a heavy lug. It's going to be stiffer shoe, 
and it's going to be very colorful. And some of the running shoes can also be very expensive. Uh, a walking shoe is going to be conservative color, like black, gray, or brown. And the height of the heel will be just about the same uh, thickness as the front of the foot. And, they'll, and the, the sole is also pretty um, straight. It's not going to be beveled or... You might have a little bit of a rocker in the toe, but basically the shoe is going to be very uh, level. The sole will be very level in the walking shoe. The walking shoe will also be more uh, flexible, um, and you probably should buy walking shoes in a regular shoe store rather than a uh, sporting goods store, because you're going to have less of a selection of walking shoes in a store like this. Okay, well, I hope this uh, helps to end the argument. What is the difference between running shoe and walking shoe? Thanks.